let's talk about modified graphs of trig functions. Uh, so first of all, we're going to talk about the amplitude. Um, so the amplitude of a trig function. Well, let's just start out with uh, sine x. That just looks like a squiggle, right? And it's oscillating in between two things. Oscillating between 1 and negative 1. Um, so sine of x has amplitude 1, because it's oscillating between 1 and negative 1. That's how far up you go, or down you go, in either direction. Now, let's think about something like uh, 7 sine x. So if we, if we draw the graph of this, then then um, instead of going to 1 here, so normally it would go to go to 1, um, but then you're multiplying by 7, so it actually goes all the way up to 7. Now it goes up like this. So sine of x, uh, 7 sine of x, as amplitude 7. Um, just for reference, maybe we'll draw in sine of x here. That's 1, and then it's going to be negative 1. So you, you might see that um, the number in front here, that's that's telling you what the amplitude is. This is like one sine of x. That's amplitude one. So um can say like um, eighteen sine of x has eighteen and like um phi sine of x has amplitude phi. If we had to draw those out, they would just be like regular sine graphs, except it would be going between 18 and negative 18. Here it would be going between phi and negative phi. So that's, that's what amplitude is. For cosine, it's like exactly the same idea. Um, cosine is so similar to sine that, um, let's just cover one example. Uh, something like 5 cosine of x. Well, cosine of x goes like, um, it's a symmetric squiggle, so it goes like that. And 5, that's the amplitude. So this spot right here, that's 5, and this spot right here, that's negative 5. Um, what if we wanted to do like 18 tangent of x, well, okay, so tangent's a little bit harder to convey what's going on, but why don't we just, let's draw, let's draw tangent, in. let's draw a regular tangent, in. say regular tangent looks like this. Every point is just getting multiplied by 18. So if this is, if this is 1 right here, this gets multiplied by 18, goes up to here. Um, 0 stays there. This is 1 right here, gets multiplied by 18, goes down to there. So it's just getting a lot, uh, steeper. And if you did like um, 1 18th tan x, um, let's put that in red, 1 18th tan x, then that would become a lot, a lot, um, a lot less steep. So it would be going more like this.
So the amplitude for tangent just kind of controls how steep or flat it's getting.